picture a sprawling agricultural landscape where the vitality of crops is intricately tied to the unpredictability of weather. Meteorology provides the lens through which farmers perceive and interpret these weather dynamics. As the ancient saying goes, know the weather, know your crop. This is a Farmer's Day documentary under the theme, Empowering Farmers, providing climate-smart solutions for sustainable food security and resilience. This and more are what our unsung heroes, the farmers, do every day of the 365 days to feed our growing population and sustain our communities. Imagine a world without farmers. Today, as we celebrate Farmers Day, let's embark on a journey to uncover the untold stories behind the successes of these remarkable individuals who toil under the sun, nurture the soil and bring food to our tables and life to the whole nation. The Ghana Meteorological Agency's Agrometeorological Unit provides valuable insights into the weather patterns, climate change, and the impact of weather conditions on agricultural practices, which enables farmers to make informed decisions about the crops and livestock. The rigorous analysis of various data sets and charts by our team of experts help farmers to optimize their farming techniques, improve crop yield, and mitigate risk associated with extreme weather events. Today, we will dedicate this special production to celebrating our unsung heroes, our farmers, as we also spotlight the agrometeorological unit of GMED, which is a subunit of the Research and Applied Meteorological Department. Get ready to be informed, inspired, and amazed by the incredible stories that unfold in this Farmers Day production. <sighs> Hello, viewers. Um, we are here to talk about agrometrology and its importance and relevance in decision making in farming across the country. Um, as the name implies, agrometrology simply uh, has two terminologies that have been put together the agricultural, which is agro, then metrology, which is uh, met, uh, metro. So, situating agricultural issues in metrology. In other words, how can we use metrological information, that is weather information, climate information, to support agricultural people or people who are into agri to make sure that it improves the yields and it benefits the entire country. Briefly, the Ghana, the Agromet section or units of the Ghana Metrological Agency is a unit that normally specializes in areas that is relevant to farmers. Here when we speak about farmers, we are not only considering those who are into crop production, but we are looking at those who are into crop production, those who are into livestock, those who are into aqua culture, those who are into tree crops, anyone who into farming, who is into farming. Whether commercial farming, peasant farming, gardening, Whatever activity that the person does that relates to our Greek, we are there for them. And therefore, we gather information on precipitation, on humidity, on sunshine, on temperature conditions. And all these are factors that influences the growth of plants and crops across the country. Based on these products or data that we, we get from the, our, our stations, we use them to generate climate smart information. And these informations are sent to farmers to aid them or to support 
whatever decisions they want to make in IGREC. And what are some of the climate information services that we send? Let me start from the top, from the seasonal forecast. When we say what is the importance of meteorology to agriculture, there are just a few points. One is the crop growth, irrigation, pest and disease control, field workability, the cost and benefits equation of having access to reliable weather. So let's start. The first one is the cost, uh, crop growth and irrigation. Number one, the farmer should have a crop calendar. And a crop calendar goes with the seasonality of the rainfall pattern. So how is this agriculture going to go? And agriculture moves with the seasonality. For example, when we are in Ghana, um, we have two seasons down south. We have from March to July. Then there's a break in August. Then we have September to November. Then up north, we have one long season, April to October. So all the agricultural activities are tailored towards these seasons. Because Ghana is mainly an agricultural nation, and more than 60% are farmers, it is important. And the relevance is that more than 80% of these farmers also depend on rain-fed agric. And therefore, it is important for us to understand when the rains for the season would start. When in between the season, when the dry spells would occur, how long or short they will be. It is also for us also to understand, or for farmers to understand when their season is likely to understand. This, we believe, is one of the ways that will help them to make relevant decisions as to what crop they would want to grow at what time, as to what variety they would want to choose over other varieties. Because if you understand you have a shorter season, probably you would go in for a drought-tolerant um, variety. If even in terms of yield, it is not as much as other varieties. If you want to save your season, it will be advisable that you're going for um, this variety that I'm talking about. So before the farming season begins, somewhere between January, February, we start interactions with our farmers to encourage them to start preparing their lands. Those who have, especially those in the southern part of the country, because the season starts earlier than the season in the northern part of the country. So one, we have to know the crop calendar how it goes accordingly, and we tailor the activity to it. And this helps us in the day-to-day -day decisions that a particular farmer makes according to the weather conditions. Crop growth, crop yield, required appropriate amount of moisture, of light, and of temperature. It's important to agriculture. Again, Detailed and accurate, real-time, historical, and forecast weather information make informed decisions to the farmer or the agricultural family as a whole. So when the um, person who is dealing with agriculture have historical patterns of the weather and climate according to the area of interest and has the real-time data and has a forecast that the person can rely on to tailor the crop growth and yield it helps so between january february those in the southern part of the country or the southern belt should have started preparing their lands and within the forested area starting from the azim and Kofu, Az aziama those areas moving into Bogos, Utakwa, the rains, that's where the rain starts uh, first. So by the last week of February, moving mostly into the first week of March, rains generally would have started in these areas. So these information, especially the onset, is key to support the farmers to make decisions in the course of the year. Then as the season rolls on, 
we keep on updating the seasonal forecast for the benefit of the farmers so that they will understand if there have been any major shift as the season rolls on. In between the seasons, we also give what is known as Decada, 10 daily bulletins also to support the farmers. We help them to appreciate the past 10 days, the, exactly what the rainfall patterns has been, the content of soil moisture they have in their areas, the temperature conditions in their areas, and we project the next 10 days for them also to understand exactly what will be happening in the next 10 days. So that's the first, um, first information or importance of metrology to the agricultural um, organization, pest and disease control. Okay, so the increase in temperature, some pests and most of them increase in the uh, increase in temperature. The, the certain weather conditions encourage the development and growth of pests and diseases, which can destroy crops. I mean, example is the fall army worm and other crops and other uh, insects and um, what is the name? Pests growth. So forecast guidance incorporated to pests and diseases modeling can help determine whether and when it's appropriate to apply pest or disease controls. Most of the times when uh, humidity is high, we don't find that when it is low and the soil is drier, you see them coming up and festering and, and worrying crops. Wind forecasters also, can also play a role in decision as crop dusters, aircraft that spray, um, fungicides and insecticide chemicals on plants from above. So all these help in the control of pests and diseases. So that if you know that the past 10 days you have had below normal rainfall and the forecast is that you are going to have below normal rainfall also for the next 10 days, then you will take the relevant decisions to safeguard whatever agricultural activity that you are already into. And with our interaction with farmers, these are some of the products that really helps or supports them. Whilst the season is ongoing, you'll be there and someone can call. Um, we, unfortunately, the rains have ceased in our area. What is happening? Because it is important for you to understand that once the seed goes into the ground, if it germinates and the rain ceases all of a sudden, obviously you might not be able to make any good yield. So it is important we walk them all the way. When we anticipate we are going to have a drier season, we give advisories or we recommend advisories to farmers as to what they can do in order to have a meaningful season. So beyond this, there is also the daily forecast that is supplied to these farmers. And what are the relevances? For instance, if I want to go and apply fertilizer on my farm, I need to understand when it is the best time for me to apply fertilizer. When it has rained a day or two, then I can go ahead and I can apply my fertilizer. Again, field workability. So this refers to availability of days that are suitable for field work. It's dependent on consoil moisture and soil temperature, accurate field level, weather information can help farmers assess the workability of their fields and become more efficient in their day-to-day -day activities. When, um, again, the farmer is going to apply some chemicals, the farmer has to pay attention to the weather conditions. Is it going to rain today or tomorrow? So that they apply and the rain doesn't come and wash it away. So all these are activities that the farmer pay attention to. Again, irrigation. You know, um, the farmers, when there's, they, they, there's source of irrigation, they pay either for the electricity that pumps the water or for the water itself. They pay some money. And for um, Ghana Meteorological Agency, we have an example of the tuba farms in Accra they pay for the electricity. So once they are all on our platform, once we say it's going to rain, they don't, they make sure that they don't have um, the irrigation water being pumped. So they save some money there. 
But if I know that if I apply my fertilizer today, the whole of the week is going to be a wet week. It is not the most prudent decision for a farmer to take because you may get most of the fertilizer being washed away by the rains that will be coming. So in between, we give these advisories. When it is time for them to go and spray the farms, we help them with the daily forecast for them to appreciate when the rains will come in and when the rains will not come in so that they can make decisions in order to um, apply to their farms. And we believe these things together with the uh, Climate Smart Agric that is being preached by the Ministry of Food and Agriculture. If our farmers pick this information and be able to run by it, we believe that it will support them in every activity that they do. Our doors are always open 24-7 that you can call in, you can check from our website, you can call in uh, to the organization, the Ghana Metropolitan Agency. If you have any challenge or any difficulty, and we can help you to walk through the challenges and the difficulties we have. Currently, because of technology, we have been employing a lot of technology to disseminate our information. Formerly, it used to be um, just through the radio stations and through some few medium. But now, we are on WhatsApp. You can get our information on WhatsApp, on um, uh, Facebook, through our website, and also through the various districts, directories of the Ministry of Agriculture. So accurate forecast, pay attention to accurate forecast, and then apply it saves them from um, using money to get irrigation purposes. Accurate forecast helps them to apply the rainfall appropriately, and then that helps them in, um, as I said, save money, and then the the yield also increase it save costs or necessary cost of irrigation so normally these are some of the points which make up the importance of uh, metrology to agriculture number one for a, 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 a farmer to know when the rainfall is going to start when the rainfall is going to end the actual amount of rainfall they need the um, dry spells the break in the rainfall that they should know these are all contributing factors to a very good seasonal crop yield to them and then helps in the food security issues of a country. So one, once we, they are educated on this aspect of meteorology and they understand it and they apply it, it becomes a wholesome um, application to the agriculture of a place. Where now we are collaborating with the Ministry of Agriculture, District Officers Extension Unit, who will get these informations and forward it onward to the farmers, to advise farmers to make sure that they take the relevant uh, decisions. One of the things we are also planning to do is to make sure that we translate some of the key, the summaries of these informations in at least about two or three local languages where these information, once it goes out, it will be clear for the farmers to make decisions on it. We are also trying to see whether we'll be able to have location-specific um, forecast uh, capacities, where we would rely on artificial intelligence and the forecast will be disseminated based on your location. You can have a short code, just click on it, and you'll be able to assess information relevant to your area. These are things we are planning for the future, but we have the farmers at heart. As we all celebrate Farmers Day this year, um, we know that it is important for us to be able to support because climate change, as we all know, has come to stay. The, the, the SDG 13, which talks about the impact of climate, tells us or helps us to understand now the climate change has caused a lot of devastation you know, to so many countries or to so many farmers. And it is projected that in the next years, it is even going to get worse. How do we mitigate these situations? We can mitigate these situations if we have the relevant information sets to help the farmer. Probably in the in time past, you used to have your onset dates around February, around March. 
Now it has gone to April, it has gone to May. How would you know? It is, you will get to know these informations when we partner, you get the climate information and we partner, you understand it and you apply it to whatever activities you are doing. Now the farmers, we are working with them. I know that this year, towards the end of this year, we have worked with the MOFA directors. We are giving them education on how they apply and um, how they apply the climate information services to the uh, their plants, the extension officers' plants, agricultural calendar. So we have we have done training in Kumasi. We have done in Cape Coast. We have gone to um, Sunyani. We are in. A, we have done Accra. We are yet to go to um, Takrade which we are planning to go after Farmers Day. It is important also for us to understand that, yes, the Ghana Meteorological Agency, through the Agromet Division, will create and generate this climate smart information, information. But truth of the matter is that when it comes to dissemination, we are very limited. We cannot be everywhere all the time. And we are so grateful for these projects, the ICRA project. We are grateful for the GASIP project. We are grateful for all the projects that we are collaborating with. Um, they, they are quite a lot. It is through these projects, the IATA and all these projects, it is through them that we have the opportunity to go to the field, to interact with the farmers, where we cannot go ourselves, they support us financially with resources to be able to send these information to these farmers. So now we have brought them on board. We are working with extension officers and these are also uh, people who take our advisories down, step down to the farmers. In some areas we get to the farmers together with the extension officers. Now we are dealing with the uh, Ministry of uh, Food and Agriculture directors, directors of um, the regions that we are in so that they incorporate it into their planning. And so when we do it like that, we know that it's going to go a long way to help the food security issues of our country. Currently, there have been training programs for the extension offices through the courtesy of ICRA. In the southern part of the country, these training programs were held in Cape Coast. Um, we went to Tuba also to have a similar training in the Kaswa area. In the middle beds or the, uh, the transition areas, we've been in Tetiman, we've been in Kentampo, we have also been um, in the villages around these places where we have not only shared these climate smart informations with um, extension officers, but also with journalists, also with farmers, and the feedback was so, so, so great. In the northern part of the country, the upper east, the upper west, and even the northern and savannah areas, we have had a couple of training programs also for these purposes. I will say kudos to ICRA, who are doing a great job to support uh, the Ghana Meteorological Agency in the dissemination of our climate information. Um, as with every human endeavor, which is fraught with challenges, we also have our share of our challenges. The first one is that if these projects were not there, how would we have been able to transmit all this information to the farmers? So when it comes to dissemination, there is a huge gap. I mean, no matter how hard you try, no matter the methods you use, there will still be people out there who would not receive the message. The best approach is to go ahead to create an app where individuals, when they are trained on these apps, will be able to assess the information themselves. But this, I can assure you, is expensive. It's an expensive venture. Because running behind the forecast that you will see are a lot of information uh, and technology that we we'll need to apply. Um, we are hoping that you know, collaborators out there Projects out there will come to support us. We are calling on um, the, uh, the telecom sector 
the MTS, the Vodafones and things to come on board and partner us. Because at the end of the day, if the farmers get these relevant informations and it improves their yield, their lives are going to be better and we are going to be food secure. And everyone in the nation, the nation obviously is also going to earn a hard currency from the activities of these farmers. So we invite you on board. Let's all join together so that we'll be able to be of help to our farmers and to also protect the interests of our nation. We complain a lot. We import tomato from Burkina Faso. We import uh, onion from Burkina Faso. We import this from Cote d'Ivoire. We can do it here. We can all do it here. And we need to put in place a robust system that would enable the farmers to be able to do farming, sometimes even all year farming, so that at the end of the day will be full sufficient. Our desire and our prayer and our work is to support you to make sure that we have more than enough to feed our country, we have more than enough to export, we have more than enough so that we, the farmers, ourselves also can become rich. Farming, I can assure you, is not an activity that should make one poor. If we will be diligent, if we will all make sure that we use the relevant information that are available to us, I can assure you we can make a lot out of farming and we can also hit our chest to say that we are proud farmers. Aiko farmers and to all the collaborators, MOFA, the extension officers, um, the NGOs or the CSOs who are in the field working with farmers, this is the time to say Aiko. I hope in the ensuing years we'll be doing more and more to support our farmers so that food security may not become an issue as far as the country Ghana is concerned. So agrometeorological unit is one of the units under the research and applied metrology in Ghana Meteorological Agency. Um, as part of our work, we give out um, short range forecasts and long range forecasts. The long range forecast um, comes under research and applied metrology where agrometeorological uh, agro unit is found and they work on our seasonal forecast, our decadal forecast, um, and the climate projections. Currently, currently what we are working on or what, have, what we have been giving out to the population and for that matter farmers especially from this unit is the seasonal forecast. We've just done training to add to this service sub-seasonal forecasts and then going forward by next year we will add products from seasonal forecast sub-seasonal forecast to the seasonal forecast that we give to farmers and then we will top it up with climate projection. Um, Agrometeorology play a very significant role in the seasonal forecast that we issue which deal with um, three-month forecast um, that has to do with the onset of the rain when the rains are going to start, the cessation of the rains when the rains are going to stop, the dry spells that we are expecting, and the cumulative rainfall. And this is done taking into con consideration the climat climatological zones of the country. And this information is so critical for a farmer to be able to know when to start preparing the land then you should start planting and the length of the rainfall season will also help the farmer to know a type of crop that she should plant the dry spells that she should expect a period that there won't be rain that he should expect during the year to inform their decision making this is validated by 10 day forecast rainfall forecast that bulletins that agrometeorological agency the units also releases and then validated by our weekly forecast. As I said earlier, we are going to add SOP to seasonal forecast to this service, which will provide um, a service for two weeks to two months forecast to farmers. After they've done this forecast, they also train farmers and agri extension officers on the content of the forecast um, for them to use it to support the farmers to be able to take decisions. 
and currently we are working on adding um, crop yield forecasts to the activities of the agrometeorology unit. The scripts and the uh, softwares have been installed. They are doing test run and our plan is that by next year 2024 we will be able to come up with a seasonal forecast with at least one or two cereals that are produced in Ghana and provide crop yield forecasts taking into consideration the, the, how the season is going to be, the seasonal forecast. And we believe this will go a long way to help the farmers and make our forecast an impact base um, to support food production in Ghana. And so as we celebrate this year's Farmers Day, I would like to um, thank all farmers in Ghana who have been, you know, working hard to put food on our table, provide employment and supporting the economy of Ghana. Um, what Ghana Autobiography Agency wish them it's a very successful um, Farmers Day celebration and want to assure them that Ghana Public Agency is a state institution there to support the activities and serve them. We provide them with various uh, weather and climate services and we are available to continue providing service and then address their concerns. If they have any challenges, they should contact Ghana Public Agency because it's an agency mandated to provide such a service to support them and have specifically set up agrometeorological units to address their concerns. We'll be happy to co-produce um, the forecasts in the way they want it, in the format they want it, and we are open to dialogue with them. Already we've started some discussion with um, agri extension officers and agri, agri officers and we want to assure them that um, the agency um, has opened its arms to support them and they should be encouraged and 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 approach the agency with any concerns that we have they have and we will address it to support their activities so Ghana Public Agency over the years have had some good working relationship with the Ministry of Agri and in, 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 in some of their projects that um, they've executed. One of them is a gossip project um, and, and as part of that project um, there was an MOU that was signed between Ghana Public Agency and the project team. So as part of that project, GMET was supposed to provide weather and climate services to farmers in the northern sectors of the country and the project coverage areas. In return, the GASI project procured for Ghana Metropolitan Agency 12 synoptic but, um, uh, weather stations. And these stations have really um, helped the operations of the agency. Uh, as, uh, the, project also organize the farmers and then put them together and give them to Ghana Metropolitan Agency to give them direct forecasts in the form of SMS which were given to the farmers uh, every day. We also as part of that project train um, the agri-extension officers and the district agri officers uh, in addition to some uh, radio station journalists to make sure that they really the weather and climate information services to the farmers. Our objective, especially with the radio stations, was to make the forecast as part of their content in their morning shows so that the farmers can get this information to inform their daily activities. Again, as we speak, there's another project called the um, Food System Resilient Project, FSRP, and that's uh, under the Ministry of Agri, that General Traffic Agency as a partner is going to provide weather and climate services to support the achievement of the objective of the project. 
and the project is also supporting the agency um, with logistics um, in the form of equipment and this process ongoing to procure 20 automatic weather stations and this system is going to develop to seamlessly transmit weather information to farmers in the country. Um, as part of National Framework for Climate Services, one of the major pillars is a platform, dialogue platforms that uh, the agency is supposed to develop with key um, strategic sectors of the economy, one of which is Ministry of Agri. And that dialogue platform has started where um, Ganaptoloka Agency and the metrologists from the agro Metrological Unit um, are going to be part of the agro Extension Officers platform where they will meet from time to time to address the concerns of farmers. And in that, at that platform, the concerns that relates to weather and climate services, um, staff from agro Metrological Unit will be available to provide the necessary response and answers to address the farmers' concern. And we hope that we continue to have this strong working relationship and collaboration with the Ministry of Agri, because Ghana Metrological Agency see the agri sector as one of their key stakeholders to benefit from the products and services that we produce. Thank you very much. Ghana Metrological Agency is there to serve you. Is there to serve Ghana and especially our great sector. And so I would like to take this opportunity to invite right. all our great um, sector groups, um, the cash crop, the tree crop um, groups, um, and any other agri sector group like cocoa ball and cashew and the rest to invite um, all other sectors in the agri culture family our doors are open to collaborate with you for instance um, Ghana cocoa board um, the three crop associations, the cash crop associations, and all other associations in the agriculture fraternity, our doors are open um, to collaborate with you, to learn from your needs. And we have the data, Ghana you know, Agency has the data. We have the metrologists and the scientists to analyze this data and provide weather and climate services to support your operation in this age of climate change and climate variability that is affecting our um, operations in the agri sector and food security. Our doors are open. We invite you to come on board to work with us to address your concerns, to ensure food security resilience to climate change and help us to be able to adopt uh, uh, in, in this era of, of climate change. Thank you very much. I wish you all very happy Farmers Day celebration and may the good Lord be with us all. Happy Farmers Day. We wish all the farmers are equal the farmers are priority. In view of this, we are wishing them Happy Farmers Day. Thank you. We want to wish all farmers Happy Farmers Day. Thank you. In the heart of Ghana, where the land breeds life and the farmers nourish the nation, a vital force is at work. As we celebrate Farmers Day under the theme, delivering smart solutions for sustainable food security and resilience. Let's recognize the Agro Meteorological Unit of the Ghana Meteorological Agency as a beacon of hope. They are not only delivering smart solutions, but are 
ensuring a brighter and more secure future for our farmers and the nation. We wish all farmers across the length and breadth of the country a happy Farmers Day. Aiko!